you're obviously very experienced. What was this whole experience in the courtroom like? I, I've been to in a lot of courtrooms in my time, especially in New York City, and I've seen a lot of judges. I have never seen a party be so openly contemptuous of the authority of the court and the authority of our justice system and the legitimacy of our justice system as Donald Trump. And I think the best thing of today, other than the vindication that Eugene Carroll so deserved, is that today was a good day for our system of justice. Today was a day that showed that the rule of law applies to everyone. Even if you don't think the rule of law applies to you, it applies to you and apply today to Donald Trump. I'm always interested. That was Roberta Kaplan, E. Jean Carroll's incredible lawyer. E. Jean Carroll prevailed in her defamation trial against Donald Trump. A jury awarded E. Jean Carroll $83.3 million, $65 million there in punitive damages. $7.3 million in compensatory damages and a total of $11 million in reputational damages. Let me show you this other clip of Roberta Kaplan right here who talks about how horrifying it was that not only did Donald Trump defame his rape victim, but he kept on doing it over and over again. I just want you to think of this courtroom scene of E. Jean Carroll's lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, Roberta Kaplan's incredible law partner, Sean Crowley, and their whole incredible team of really great lawyers at that law firm. And then on the other hand, you had Alina Haba, who was totally incompetent, who was absurdly arrogant for her total incompetence, and who didn't even know how to introduce evidence, didn't know how to pre-mark exhibits, didn't know she had to stand up when making an objection. Alina Habba's theme throughout the trial is that Donald Trump actually helped his rape victim, E. Jean Carroll, by helping make her famous. Alina Habba actually argued to the jury that E. Jean Carroll got what she wanted from Donald Trump. She finally got the fame she wanted, so Trump should be rewarded, to which Roberta Kaplan and her law partner, Sean Crowley, when they took turns during the closing argument, looked at the jury and said, really, that's what they argue to you? How offensive can you get? And what number is it going to take to get Donald Trump to stop this heinous and despicable behavior. Here's another clip right here of Roberta Kaplan from this interview on CNN with Anderson Cooper. Play the clip. Our whole case was about the fact that Donald Trump is unable to follow the law, unable to follow the rules. He thinks they don't apply to him. And as bad as what he did to Eugene Carroll was, and the sexual assault was terrible, and as horrifying as the defama defamation was back in 2019, the most amazing, shocking part of it all is that he kept on doing it. Mm. And he kept on doing it even during the trial. I mean, what other person thinks they can just openly break the law over and over and over again? Donald Trump. Another clip here from E. Jean Carroll's lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, talking about how he couldn't stop lying. Trump just lies all the time. All the time. Here, play this clip. I was interested when I see depositions of the former president, because for somebody who has been sued as much as he has and been involved in lawsuits, and I assume deposed often, he seems like a terrible witness in depositions. Uh, I haven't seen him on the stand, but I imagine on the stand as well. How do you rate him as a defendant, given his experience in the justices? Well, so to be a good party in a, in a case and to be a good witness in a case, you want the jury to believe you and to think that you tell the truth. And the very big problem that Donald Trump has is really no one believes he, tell, he tells the truth. And in this case, he lied again on the stand. He again said, I stand by everything I said in my defamation, def, excuse me, my deposition, which was I did nothing to Eugene Carroll, never met her, she's a whack job, never heard of her. So he not only committed perjury, but the jury themselves saw him commit perjury. And then they watched his deposition video where he pointed out, as everyone knows, that famous photo of him and Ivana and E. Jean and her then husband, and he points to E. Jean and says, that's Marla Maples. And then my favorite part of it is once he realizes he made a mistake, he says, oh, it's a blurry photo. And I said to the jury, you saw the photo. It's the same photo you're looking at today. It's not a blurry photo. Roberta Kaplan, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course, Anderson Cooper asks a great question here of E. Jean Carroll's lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, which is, if Trump continues, will you file another action? Will you take 
more steps against Donald Trump. What comes next? Here's what Roberta Kaplan had to say. Play this clip. Whether that will succeed, I don't know. I sure hope it will. If he continues to defame her, will there be more, I mean, is it potential there's another case? I'm too good of a lawyer to tell you that, but everything's on the table. So now let's take that just so you can see the difference. Let's compare it to what Alina Haba was saying again whining, complaining afterwards. Here, play this clip. It twisted. We are seeing a violation of our justice system. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not allowed to be stripped of every defense that you have. You are not allowed to be told that you can't bring it up. And imagine a point where a judge tells the lawyer before your client, the former president of the United States, the leading candidate and obvious nominee for the Republican Party. Before he takes the stand to defend himself, Ms. Haba, tell me the questions you're going to ask in open court and tell me exactly what he's going to respond. And then edited my questions, edited the response he was allowed to give. And guess what my client did? He took the stand. He abided by the rules of this corrupt system that I have seen. We will immediately appeal we will set aside that ridiculous jury and i just want to remind you all of one thing i will continue with president trump to fight for everybody's first amendment right to speak everybody's a right to defend themselves when they are wrongfully accused and to be able to say i didn't do it and to double and triple and quadruple down and say this is wrong this is wrong but we are in the state of new york we are in a New York jury, and that is why we are seeing these witch hunts, these hoaxes, as he calls them. And this is another one of them. Be brought in New York, in states where they know they will get juries like this. Here's another clip of Alina Haba. Play it. Record that was made in there, and the behavior I saw in there, some of which was reported widely today, gave us the most perfect record on appeal, and even if I needed it, which I don't. We were stripped of every defense, every single defense before we walked in there. And I am proud to stand with President Trump because he showed up, he stood up, he took the stand and he faced this judge. And you know what? I'll continue to do so with him. Yes. Alina Haba posted on her social media afterwards, this is far from over. We are just getting started. Hashtag MAGA, hashtag Trump derangement syndrome, American flag with a boxing glove. I mean. People are living in some delusional MAGA echo chamber where they don't realize how incompetent they are, what losers they are. And in addition to just the heinous conduct by Donald Trump, again, you had the worst lawyering by Alina Haba, who basically blew every deadline, waived deadlines, didn't disclose people when you're supposed to disclose them, didn't follow the most basic rules of civil procedure, and, and the court had no clue what she was doing. During her closing argument, she also like held up a stack of papers and said, look, I got threatened this week. Look at me. I got threatened this week. It's objection sustained. It was horrible, horrible stuff to watch. Such a horrible lawyer, but I am proud that justice was served. $83.3 million is a significant amount of money. Um, Donald Trump would have to post a bond if he wants to appeal that. Um, and we'll see what happens next. We'll see what Donald Trump posts. We'll report on, on that and we'll keep you posted the whole way. But I mean, Roberta Kaplan, Sean Crowley, that whole law firm, they're the real deal. As good of lawyers as you get. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're headed to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Have